Hello and welcome to Art Class. So today we're going to do a really, really lovely project. We are back doing Crayon Resist. Yes. First of all, we're going to talk a little bit about water. Have you ever thought how amazing water is? You can drink it. You can put it in the freezer and make ice. When you boil the kettle, a cloud comes out of it called steam. That's also water. And we can use water to mix our paint for watercolors. And water is a place for animals to live. How amazing is that? What an amazing thing God designed for us to use. And we can also wash with water. Okay, so let's get going with our Crayon Resist project. Today, we're going to talk about a place where animals live in water. Yes, you guessed it. We are going to make some fish. So, I want you to get a piece of paper. You're going to need a paintbrush, some crayons, some watercolor paint, and a jar of clean water. All right, let us begin. First thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the bottom part of the aquarium. You know that place where fish live inside a glass box? It's called an aquarium. So we're going to draw the bottom part of the aquarium. And then I'm going to draw two beautiful fish. I want you to make your fish look really, really nice. I'm going to draw another fish over here, looking this way, like that. And this fish is going to have a big old fin like that. And this fish is going to have some fins like that. And I'm going to draw beautiful eye over there for that one and an eye over there and I'm going to draw lots and lots of shapes on here beautiful fish scales because fish have shiny things called scales on their bodies so I'm going to draw lots and lots of fish scales like this on my fish there we go And maybe I will draw some scales in this color, like that. And I think I'll draw some more like this with my crayon. There we go. I'm going to draw some stripes over there on that fin. And some nice stripes over there on that fin and some stripes on that fin and like that that goes there and that goes there and maybe I will color this in a little bit like this even you guys must decide how you're going to do this okay and for this fishy but I'm just gonna do that a little bit darker like that and like that and that goes like that and for the second fish I'm going to make kind of a zigzaggy pattern I think I want you guys to think about how you can make this look really really beautiful so this one is going to have more of a zigzaggy kind of pattern like this and like that so you decide and I'm going to put some dots on this fish's tail like this. And maybe I'll even make a purpley tail like that. And I'll color that in just a little bit like that. And this one I'm going to color the front part of the fish a little bit lighter like that. Just like that. And I'll put something around the eye like that. And I'll make the eye nice and big. A fish has got a nice big eye like that. Maybe I'll color this in like this, color that in like that. I think I'm going to color this, oops, with an orange like this. All right, oops, broke my crayon. I've got my fishies. Now I'm going to draw some 
plants because you know in an aquarium fish quite like to hide away they like to have a place where they feel safe so they like to hide behind the plants so we can draw some plants not too many otherwise we won't be able to see our fish so let's go like that i've got some nice plants and the last thing i'm going to draw are some bubbles in the water because the fish make bubbles in the water when they breathe maybe i'll add another plant maybe i'll add another plant there like that and one more like that all right now i want you to take some water and you're going to take some of your paint and you're going to pick some lovely colors and we're going to do the crayon resist remember what we learned crayon and water do not mix the paint does not stick to the crayon because the crayons are made of oil and water and oil do not mix look at that so i'm going to use lots of water on my paint get paint and look at that it does not stick to the crayon isn't that crazy oops and i'll do that section like that and i'm even going to paint all over this like this to make this look like they're really in the water right I'm painting away oh my gosh it's crazy look at that the paint does not stick to the crayon Oops. let's just move that down back down again a little bit there we go shifting okay I'm going to put the last section in and i'm going to add a little bit of different color for this over here because i want to make this bottom part a little bit more green and there you go look at that a beautiful crayon resist picture of some fishies in the water and i'm going to add just a little bit of yellow over here like that just make it a little bit more interesting with my colors so i've actually mixed blue and yellow which you guys know by now makes green and i think i want to make some teeny tiny little bubbles over there like that whoa look how beautiful that looks all right so you're going to set your work aside to dry guys and when it is dry, be sure to put your name clearly on it and your surname and your grade so that you can hand it in to your class teacher. Good job.